and welcome back it's exactly a minute past the top of the hour now the second hour dedicated to our conversation with my guests tonight but as always before we speak to them and introduce them let's take a look at uh, the ball newspaper back in the day 2017 to the date today just a different day it was a thursday let's take a look at the paper now that was the headline Raila Odinga, why you can't trust uhuru's pledges it was a headline so it's a uh, odinga's list jubilee unfulfilled promises including laptops i just um says he, they will fail again um if re-elected also vows to address historical land issues that was a story given prominence the headline and page seven of the board newspaper 2017 to the date today but that was not the only story right at the top of uh, the standard uhuru attacks nasa manifesto promises well I know the manifesto being launched tomorrow so this was about a day after dinga declared if elected graph cartels will fall brutal claims corrupt networks financing nasa and president also dismissed raila's hybrid system of power as taking kenya backwards hey, very interesting indeed those are not the only stories just two more talo oil warns it could quit trukana oil drilling sites and apart from that there was an un very unfortunate story here where four pupils were killed by terrorists and they were buried on a day a day before the newspaper so that was the ball newspaper back in time 2017 to the day today the more things change the more they remain the same lady and gentlemen thank you so much for coming veronica Maina, first time on my show Yes. Asante sana kwa kuja and my friend Setabao Lekanchori advocate thank you so much chief agent Raila Odinga's uh, campaign in the 2020 general election and Veronica Maina right at the forefront of uh, Kenya Kwanza and of course the secretary general of UDA party so I begin with you Veronica mm. why is this issue and I saw you at that forum with the IBC today mm. why is this issue of the voters register so sticking why is it um, I, I think uh, there are certain issues that uh, Kenyans can remember very well. Every time an election comes around, there is always uh, trading of accusations that uh, this system was this or that. Uh, the use of the manual register has been abused. Uh, people are voting more than once. In fact, pictures continue to be shared online, even photographs. Uh, voters being accused of voting more than once. And so progressively, uh, the, legal, uh, the legal system has uh, continued, the electoral legal system has continued to advance and uh, work towards uh, technology. Mm -hmm. It's been slowly and steadily moving towards uh, <coughs> transitioning the system, the voting system from a manual system and progressively taking up uh, electronic uh, system, which is more secure, more verifiable, more accountable, more trackable, and, and much more easier than using um, uh, the manual system because the manual system requires a lot of uh, use of uh, first human personnel second it requires another level of check like almost a physical check you mm -hmm. have to stand there and physically check it and then after the event is over after the day is over you can almost not account for what happened in that station particularly because you don't have cctv to tell you the number yeah. of people who have walked in there mm -hmm. it doesn't have the kind of a support where voters would feel that uh, if you say there were 500 voters who walked into a certain polling a station then that is the accurate number of people who walked in you can actually account for it in the system you can actually count and mm -hmm. and imagine if we had a cctv in every primary school then you would be able to say that a hundred people walked into that classroom and they are the ones who have voted using the manual register mm -hmm. now short of that kind of a system progressively there have been amendments to the electoral laws which have now allowed for use of the the kim's kit uh, uh, digital uh, you know electronic identification of voters so that you can have digital footprints of the number of people who are walking in the number of votes who have been casted and you can actually compare the two to see that uh, this is very safe it's accountable it is extremely accurate accurate 
and and if you cannot then verify the accuracy of the manual system the only way to go for us is to yes. migrate that system to, the, to something which okay. can be audited even a year later or two years later and and, and the ibc has uh, made us understand that once someone votes that system archives so if ken mijungu would vote it's archived ken mijungu can never vote again yes. i know the position of the deputy president initially he did not mind i mean initially supported digital fully but he doesn't really mind even the use of a complementary system i'll come to discuss that but let me bring this to say because you stood and asked a question based on this and your candidate rano dinga is really pushing for this physical register to be available. The IBC said, we'll avail it in every polling station. But still, it's not enough. It looks like there's a mystery. <coughs> what is going on, Wakili? So, uh, Ken, the issue of the, of the physical register really is a legal issue. Um, so, elections are done according to certain legal dictates. And le elections are not whimsical. They are not something that you wake up and say, how are we going to do them? Elections are governed by laws. And what the law requires is that there has to be two systems, one complementary to the other. The primary system is the electronic system. But the law requires, in very specific terms without any equivocation, that that electronic system must be complemented by a manual system. Um, so when we are insisting that there has to be a printed register, what we are basically saying is that the law has to be followed. I don't know why that is so difficult for everybody else to understand. What is so difficult about us, you know, just following the law? I, would, I can take you through provision after provision, and I can ask my sister Veronica, who I respect, and hold in, in, in great uh, esteem. And I can ask her, which laws are they referring to? Which laws are, that is Kenya Kwanzaa and IBC? Because they seem to be reading from the same script on this issue. Which laws are they referring to? I can refer to, to section 44A, which says that there has to be a complementary system that in case of any failure on the electronic part, then you have a manual system. I will refer you to, to uh, Regulation 69 that provides for the voting procedure in the polling station. Regulation 69, which is the law really in terms of how the election is to be conducted in a, in, in a polling station, actually requires that even before the system fails, there is a place for the printed register. The system can fail, but the, the electronic register is not only useful legally wise, only when the, the system fails. The law requires that it is also a safety mechanism. In fact, if you look at Regulation 69, uh, sub-Regulation 1 and Part C, it requires the clerk who deals with that, who, who actually identifies the voter physically. Mm -hmm. Because you see, the voter is identified electronically yep. by the kit. Yep. But the kit doesn't know you. The kit is a kit. But it, it has just, your biometrics. It could, okay. be, it could, it could have mixed your biometrics with someone from uh, Ukraine. That's it's impossible. Are, but, no, no, listen. One listen, in a million chance. We That's have not true. opened the server up to today. That's okay. biometrics. And that is uh, electronic. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let us not talk about ele electronics and technology as if technology has never failed and as if technology has never failed us mm -hmm. as a country. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing is not even about the failure. It's about adhe adherence to the law. Okay. Oh, really? so, so we have to adhere to the law. We'll mm -hmm. come, we'll come to yeah, and we are not saying yes. that we don't want technology. Mm -hmm. Technology is a facilitator. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are happy to have technology play its role, but th then the law requires that that technology be complemented by a printed register. And I will tell you, Ken, yeah. that a printed register is a, is a safe, you know, with a com as a complementary mechanism. Yeah is the safest way to run an election because in 2017 2.5 million voters were not identified by the kim's kids did they vote they voted because the electronic the the, the backup system mm -hmm. which is the printed register yeah. was there okay 2.5 million in 2017 the kim's kids that we, we have were still new they are now five years older they have been kept in some storage somewhere in some warehouses they are much they are much older they are, they are, some of them are moribund mm -hmm. we are told that 4000 of them are defective so and you know in that kim's kit 
if you scratch the surface where you, you place the, the fingerprint, it, does, it cannot read your, your biometrics. It's okay. a gadget. Okay. It's a gadget. A lot okay. can go wrong. So okay. we're only saying we yeah. want every Kenyan. Even uh, okay. Veronica's, uh, uh, you know, uh, supporters and, and members, we want them to have an opportunity to vote. We don't want anybody to be turned away on okay, election day. I have a specific question on that, but Veronica, let me, let me first this. give you a clarification of the section they've been uh, discussing from daytime up to now. Mm. We did not have a very good opportunity to respond to the real content of that section 44 of the Elections Act. Now, that section 44 provides that notwithstanding uh, section 28 and uh, a certain other section of the Elections Act, the Commission shall put in place a complementary mechanism for identification of voters and transmission of elections results that is simple, accurate, verifiable, secure, accountable, mm -hmm. and transparent to ensure the Commission complies with Article 38 of the Constitution. I want to put forth to my colleague that number one, in that specific section, there is no provision for a voter use of a voter register. That specific section. So what they are doing is misinterpreting that section, mm -hmm. misadvising their party leader, and telling them that under section 44A, their skewed construction and interpretation of that section then requires the use of a, 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 a physical register. If you look at the complementary system that has been provided under the same Kim's kit, you can use alphanumerics to identify a voter. What do I mean by that? If, for instance, your thumbprint or your fingerprints cannot be identified, you cannot be identified on the Kim's kit using your thumbprints, you can use the ID, the ID number, the alphanumerics. They can pull out your yeah. data. Mm -hmm. And that data is offline. It, it, it's not using any form of network or anything. Mm -hmm. So that Kim's kit is preloaded. It's like how you have a contact list in your phone. Even if a safari com was to switch off, or even if your phone is not in any network, you still access your phone. Book. Are you able to access your contact list? Because that's the simplest example mm -hmm. I can use. Mm -hmm. That register is preloaded on the Kim's kit. All IBC would need to ensure is that that Kim's kit is charged, or they have a power bank or something that ensures that the Kim's kit can be switched on. Once it is switched on, the complementary mechanism mm -hmm. will be found and it is still safe and secure, not capable of being interfered with. The question my colleague should be addressing himself to is whether we have had incidences in Kenya where people have voted over 100% of the voter register has voted in the station when people were using the manual register. If that answer is yes mm -hmm. in one specific polling center, yeah. then you know for a fact we need a change mm -hmm. so that we stop the contestations that we've been bringing after the elections are over. Mm -hmm. Somebody says, oh, I don't believe I was defeated, I was number one. At that time, they are holding a party 10 or 15% of the actual votes cast. Let, let me so what I'm okay. saying mm -hmm. is this. Mm -hmm. The complementary mechanism provided for under Section 44A of the Elections Act, it's already available within the Kim's kit. Their interpretation, if you read that section, there is no provision absolutely. For, for and if you can find it, mm -hmm. I'll be very happy to let, let me, let I me, can find it. If you can okay. find it. I can find it, Ken. Because if I wanted you can to ask find it, yes. <laughs> you can give me that. I wanted to ask you that specific question. How does a similar system, how does my computer and the programs in it complement my computer? I think complementing is an, an introduction of something else, not something that already exists. In my, in my interpretation in, it is, so, so That so is can, a skewed interpretation because uh -huh. yes, why is it I can, have, I go to I can yes. have, for instance, mm -hmm. if you want to Google something, if you want, for instance, to search yes. something online, how many websites can you use to search? How many applications can you use to search that specific item? Would you say then that it's only Google which is available to search your item simply because you are using the same gadget? Okay. I think what they want to see, they don't want to see the gadget they want to see paper which they are used to. People are afraid to change. People are afraid to go into new technology which they feel they are not very conversant with. Okay. I yeah. think yeah. I think the content in the Kim's kit ideally is the content in the physical in the register. Okay. Now there is provision for that register to be displayed outside even the polling center. Is it not available? 
if it is available, why do you want that car register here? Because, my, my because is, why do you resist the having reason, that car register and I want there. to say, yes. no, we are not even resisting, by the way. Yes. We have no problem if people can walk in, vote only once. Yeah. If we had that assurance that every voter is walking in and voting once, you'd not have a problem. It is Let not me a give him an deal. opportunity to find If you are using the same data yes. on the Kim's kit mm -hmm. as again as the physical register, it's not a big deal. Well, Kili, find this. What is your so, interpretation of complementary? It's not even our interpretation, Ken. Yes. I've already said that Regulation 69 is very clear. There is a place and a role for the physical register in the electoral process, mm -hmm. legally. But also, this interpretation has been made at the you know sub highest level in our in our in our judicial system the court of appeal in the nasa case of 2017 and i can give my sister the citation i'm sure she's, she's familiar with it that the, the court the court in that case was very clear and it was the same issues that we're dealing with mm -hmm. you know incidentally the commission that time in 2017 was on our, was where we are today and incidentally, we were, we were where they are that time. We were the, where they are now that time. We were saying we don't want uh, the, the electronic. They were saying they, they have to have the printed. And, and the Court of Appeal finalized that matter with a lot of finality and clarity. And what it said is this. It said that the two systems are supposed to complement themselves, each other, that you have to have an electronic system and you must also have a manual system. And the court also said that an electronic system cannot complement itself. The now, court, let, let, me, let me say this. Let me, let, let me finish. Let, let, let I did let not finish. interrupt my sister. Yes. Uh, and, and I don't want to do that because uh, this is a very friendly discussion. Um, you see, Ken, the alphanumeric identification is actually an invention of this commission. Right? It was not even there in 2017. But it is not a complementary mechanism. Because it is still the same system, it is still the same gadget you're using mm. to identify the same voter that the gadget has failed to identify. So we are saying that it could have failed to identify that voter, maybe because of the biometrics, mm. but there could have been another reason. Perhaps the, the, the name of that voter, and we know they have raised issues about how uh, people were removed from the register. Perhaps the, the, the biometrics were removed and the alphanumerics were removed from the, from the electronic register. But the printed register, and that can be done overnight, eh? the, the election eve, someone can sit in Abu Ghraib or wherever they sit and interfere because we, are, we have seen, you know, there are hackers in interfere with? with the electronic system. Okay. You know, this is a world of hacking. There are people who, whose profession, they wake up in the morning and they, they call themselves, themselves hackers and they are hackers for hire. We used to have guns for hire. Now we have hackers for hire. So that's so, your fear. No, no, it's not a fear. Yeah. It's just, uh, it is a concern. And we are saying, we want this election to be seamless. We want this election to be an election where every Kenyan feels, you know, uh, they had a chance to vote. And besides, why are we trying to circumvent the law, which is very clear, that have the system, have the complement, have that electronic system. Yeah, but have... This but the printed register will be there mm -hmm. and it has a role because you come there the clerk has to call out your name according to the printed register and the reason for that is this the polling station is a local place so all these people the agents know each other the voters know each other even the clerks are locals so when they when they when they call your well when they call out your name according to the printed register is a confirmation that you are the same person who has appeared you know because mm -hmm. you could appear there and you put your biometrics and by the way if you if we have time i will tell you some of the concerns that we have about these kim's kits because even the data that is not is in that kim's kit it, it could we could raise questions about that okay. because there are issues of migration from okay. otimofo mm -hmm. there were issues of migration from otimofo today we were told by the commission you know in in uh, you know in the public glare that the data that they had in 2017 is still the proprietary uh, property of Otimofo. So how are they how are they able to transfer it when we know that they had a dispute with Otimofo? How are they able to transfer it okay. now to yeah, to Smartmatics? It. Okay. Let me let me let me respond to my colleague. Yes. Because their arguments mirror their style of politics. The style of politics of Azimeo in this sense. Are we politicians? Um their, their style is to take people, they tend to take us backwards a bit. 
they, they pull us back because if you look at the sectors now all the commercial economic business sectors there has been a major migration from manual to electronic systems if you move into the banking industry uh, you only present your ID number they only just compare your ID with the details that is in their system they will make every payment using that system they even encourage you to go online and do your transactions so that you don't have to walk into the bank you look at safaricom and and the movement of money you, you don't need to be physically somewhere for that transaction to happen when i'm in dubai when i'm in any other place i can still transact on my bank i can transact on mpesa i can pay my bills in the republic of kenya when i'm outside this geographical location so for for a, a political organization or a political coalition to insist on the use of the manual where somebody has to take a ruler and cancel your name you must ask yourself what is driving their interest in pushing for that manual register Tell us, there must be a way yeah. that they are using it in such a way mm -hmm. that they can propel their numbers in that polling center. I could say the same about them. I could say the same about them. I did not. I did not. Sorry, to add I did not. Okay. I'll tell finish, you something about finish, the finish. Kim's yeah. kit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Immediately you vote and you identified through that Kim's kit. Did you know you cannot vote twice? Meaning, the story of ghost voters, one voter having five votes and casting five votes or ten votes would not happen with the electronic uh, identification of voters because what the kim's kit will do when you walk in a second time it locks you out it gives it beeps a warning everybody will be there to hear that that person had been identified before now what it also does and i know i hope you know the regulation now only allows a polling station to have up to 700 voters you can, right. cannot go beyond the 700 voters that means if 700 people which is most unlikely have appeared in a polling center then that kim's kit cannot now be used for 701 so for anyone to reject this kind of a system on a hundred percent basis they must explain themselves very clearly why, why yes. you would know. feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. that a digital footprint is unwanted by a coalition but i don't think so, they're resisting they're just saying mm -hmm. do this but please have the other one you know the question they are not responding to yes. ken they are not responding to the fact that section 42 4A does not provide for a manual physical register. It does not provide for a physical register. Well, why it provides for complementary. Regulation 69. Why didn't you read them together with Regulation 69? Uh, together with the Section 44? 44, yes. yes. Did you know yes. the, same, the same rules do provide for IEBC to migrate to electronic, by the way? Do you know if they did it electronically, there would be no fault? That is already provided under law? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that mm -hmm. what you have printed, what is in the Kim's kit? Are we getting this point clear? Yes. The data that is in the Kim's <coughs> kit, even if you print it here, it remains the same. If it is 600 voters in a polling center, uh, in a polling station, remains that's it. You can add. The, you can add that. Mm -hmm. And if we had other complementary systems which would tell us how many people have walked into that station, mm -hmm. then that would be okay. Let me ask you, let me ask you, Veronica, before I ask him that specific question, mm -hmm. why do you think, what is their motivation? Should their motivation? Yes. Yes. What is their motivation? Oh, let me tell you something. It's yeah. a bigger scheme than you expect. Tell me, tell me about um, it. You must ask yourself, who was migrating voters from Nyeri to Eldas? What was the purpose of that migration? Because that was a scheme. Those were just a few bids before they complete to make a full necklace of what they were looking for. Whoever was doing that migration of voters, the purpose was this. If a name called Jane Jerry is in Eldas, that means that voter has a right to vote in Eldas. Now, if you have a system that has conspired from the door right up to the end, they can't be identified on the Kim's kit, and they're identified on the physical register, it means the ghost gingery who never belonged to a station in Eldas yeah. is able to, to vote, vote. Okay. using the manual system. But if they're using the Kim's kit, mm -hmm. Jen Jerry, who we is non-existent in Eldas, yes. will never vote. vote. Okay. 
that that that, that, that is okay i'm coming to you wakili now that you've explained that your candidate deputy president william ruto yes. was the first to raise his alarm Yes. Long before the IBC made a comment over it. Yes. And this was a digital register. Yes. How did your candidate know that voters have been moved and the IBC, KPMG had not made a report. Mm -hmm. The IBC had not made a report. But your candidate knew about one million voters. Are you very sure? Are you very sure about that? I, I, sat, here, you know, I sat here with two you commissioners know, a week ago and, and they said did that. Did you know yes. that you were able to check yourself as a voter where you are registered, whether you are existent or not, and that you can actually walk into IBC and mm -hmm. very the first people to raise that alarm were the voters themselves. You remember the Register of Political Parties digitized their system. And I was going to say, actually, yeah. the government has been progressively digitizing its register. You'll find in land's office the digitization. You find every ministry, um, the passport today, you can't apply for it without using the e-citizen, the online system. Mm -hmm. Everything has been going online. In fact, you should be asking this question. Why is there a hesitation by some of the political parties to accept digitization, to okay. accept electronic, okay. and to accept that we must migrate to the next I, level? I, I, I because yeah. if I want to check <coughs> the balance in my account today, have you just checked it from my phone? I agree with you. If I want to check my title, whether yeah. it's still in my name, mm -hmm. I can Google that online. Mo, uh, Veronica, I agree with you. This is a question. I'm coming to you, Akili. I am not ignoring you. I think you. it's because the, the, the other question is, it's fine. The voters raised it. Yes. And the DP was perhaps the second or the third in line to raise yes, it. Yes. Who collated and knew it's 1.1? Let individual, me explain something. Individual voters did. We right? did massive registration of members within our political party. Mm -hmm. In the course of doing that uh, massive registration, if, if a member needed to check where they are registered, whether they are in this political party or that political party, they could actually Google with the register of political parties yeah. and confirm I'm in this location, my names are correct, my ID number is correct. So we had other means of knowing that somebody is not appearing in the polling station where they are supposed to be appearing at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an opportunity now. Uh, I think uh, it's 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 good at least uh, that I, I should get in, I should get a word in you know uh, you know when a lady is speaking you don't you don't interrupt. Thank you. Uh, but you know my sister Veronica who is a wonderful person, has, you know is has proved that uh, really you are the company that you keep because even listening to Veronica you know some of the things she's saying honestly, I mean to be to be just very candid, it is not true, uh, Veronica that the law. Um, on the issue of electronic, the electronic register could be read any other way. It is not true. And I know she's a, she's a lawyer of great repute. And, and I think if we could just agree on what the law says, and then we agree on why we want to circumvent the law. You know, because we can at least agree on what the law says, because it is, it is, it is in black and white. And you know, she has raised an issue that I think is important for us to address. Why do some people insist on this and why do others insist on the other? And it is simple. The, you know, the, the manual register, the manual register is a very transparent mechanism. Why do I say so? You see, IBC will have six clerks on, in one area, the size of this studio. It will have two uh, election officials presiding and deputy presiding. How does Veronica and her team tell us that with eight electoral officials mining a polling station the size of this studio, someone can bring mischief? Does IBC want to tell us that they are employing crooks as of election, electoral officials? Because that is the suggestion they are making. Because if they cannot trust a document that has 700 names, with eight of their officials, then there's something very wrong with the people IBC is employing. There's something very wrong with the people IBC is employing. IBC needs to trust the election officials that they're employing, but then they also need to employ them in the right way. We have our concerns, by the way, which we don't want to raise here. Uh, we will do a formal uh, complaint to the commission because of the composition of the electro the, the returning officers and so on. You mentioned that you mentioned I that. did. Yeah. I did. It, it's a lengthy uh, discussion. discussion yeah. Uh but it is a discussion that has to do with 
uh, the unity of this country, the harmony of this country. It mm -hmm. has to do with uh, just appreciating that this is a diverse country okay. and that this country cannot have one community or two communities or three communities dominating the rest. Okay. Because we are a diverse nation. I, I want to ask you what I asked her. She says straight, what is the mischief behind using this register that Azimio really wants to see on the table on the 9th? Why do you think they're insisting that let's adopt technology? Why, why, do you, why, why do you think they want technology as opposed to this? What, is their, what do you think is in their mind? It's very simple, Ken. Yes. We had people at the top level of Kenya Kwanzaa in no less than the, the, the launch of the presidential uh, journey for Dr. William Samuel Ruto. We had people in his launch say that they are the brains for stealing elections in, in this country. We had that. It was televised across the country. I don't think that's a fair comment. comment. No, they say that. This. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy, uh, Moses Kuria. Oh, is he, is he talking about Moses uh, Kuria Sabina said that Chege? No, no. Is so he talking about Sabina Chege? I want to answer the question. Sabina Chege. Sabina Chege I want to answer the question. You know? Yeah. I want to answer the question. The Allow me to answer the question. Now. Allow me to answer the question. Okay, we'll she's, come to very is, is, yeah. She's on record as she, having She doesn't actually. want me to say it because she knows that what I'm she, about to say... Veronica, you'll have the opportunity yeah. to you know, counter that. What I'm about to say, mm -hmm. Veronica knows that uh, it will nullify a lot of the things she has said. But, you know, they have said that they're experts in stealing elections. And, and we, we believe they are, because they have done it in the past. And so, we have never stolen any election. As Azimio, we don't even know how elections are stolen. We only know that we want Kenyans to vote, and for the will of the Kenyan people to be upheld. I but think, I think uh, to be fair, yeah. you should never allow that to go on. No, because Those you are, are here very to heavy it. allegations. <laughs> yeah, because you are here Those to Those are it. very heavy <laughs> allegations. And, and if you allege that somebody has stolen an election, you must then substantiate with facts. And it's not sufficient. Yeah. It's not sufficient, especially for a can I Can I substantiate with facts? This level. You, you have the facts. I have the facts. I have the facts. I, I, it is not allowed. It is not even available for my colleague. To even try to attempt to throw a smack on people's faces with allegations that are not substantiated without any evidence. Because if you allege you have any facts, I have. you require full support of those facts. I do. And since we are not before a court of law, what I would ask my colleague to do is to withdraw those comments because you cannot use your airtime. Mm -hmm to allow these kind of allegations to go unchecked. P public. That's one. Okay. Public Number two. Public opinion. They will not Number even, two. He's bluffing he cannot. He cannot. He cannot do that. She and doesn't he knows want he me can to give her the facts. He can't so do I'll that. Keep, it's I'll not available If she doesn't want me to give the facts. No. But, but it's me, not available let me ask you for can. him. Let me ask That's you. one. Because number one, <laughs> yeah. even if you were to cite somebody like uh, Moses Kuria, has Moses Kuria been chair of an IBC commission? Has he been a presiding officer? Has he been a returning officer? Was he was counting? Was he filling out forms? That is why you cannot go that direction. That route is not available. It is not available. Mm -hmm. Because the minute you allege he has stolen, mm -hmm. you have actually talked about IEBC. You have gone beyond Moses Kuria. So that is not available. And I would hope he will respectively withdraw those remarks. That's one. Number two. Full democratization of electoral process. Why are they hesitant? Why do you want us to remain where we began in 1963? Is there a reason why we should hang on to the old process? And what must have informed the introduction of the uh, electoral, yes, the technologies of technology? But, but you see, in you see as you continue, I'll let you continue. And number three. No, I'll let you continue. Mm -hmm. You have to. I have a very you, critical you, you, burning question. You understand ODM. that the ballot mm -hmm. is still physical. I, I, I have yes, a yes. I it's a hybrid system. Is the one asking questions. Let yeah. me ask you. It's a hybrid system. <laughs> yes, so you can't completely I'm go digital. I'm asking hypothetically so that it digital. can give you digital. But you know we cut him off before he finishes. You know we cut him off more deeper yes the we one thing more, he must which is also, not fair to him the one thing he must also respond to i'm just giving it back to you mm -hmm. is why odm purported to use do you remember they used to tablets in a station in taita <coughs> they purported to use electronic 
What was that that you were trying in your nomination system? We were not did trying, you not we were believe? Using. Did we you not using. believe in that electronic system? We had a printed and register. How did you hold back even the passwords on those we had a tablets printed until register, they Veronica. could not come? Veronica, you know you guys don't know how okay. technology works. So I'm asking, I'm asking this question so that he can think a little deeper okay. as he brings forth. So okay. So you, now you, you have your question. So, uh, yeah. Veronica, we had the electronic uh, devices, but we also had the printed registers. And the printed registers for our party, which uh, obviously is a much more mature party than yours. It's been there for much longer, and of course, uh, that is um, a fact if you want facts. Uh, so your juvenile party cannot, cannot boast to even be able to run a nomination like the one that we ran. We, know, we saw what you did with uh, your mock exercise that you call nominations. Oh, contrary. Yes, yes. I hope you are not serious about I'm serious about I'm serious. Because you know for a fact to the end, we, we, not we are digressing. 10% of nomination across the We are digressing no, because but, but of you. They did not. <laughs> we are dig we digressing. We carried out nominations across the 47 counties. counties yes. ODM did a few spotted, including the two tablets they had in Taita Taveta. So <laughs> I would not even accept to discuss the question <laughs> okay. of nominations okay. with but my colleagues. You're making it. <laughs> to okay, have to be somebody else. Okay, so, so let's go back to the IBC. Yes. So um, the, issue, the issue that uh, Veronica is, is raising, and she's going to the defense of IBC, uh, Moses Kuria is not an IBC. Not quite. I only raise in the context of you, you see, she when they are she stealing can't let me, she elections. Can't let me yes. You, you and, will have an opportunity. And, and I say yes. I can't let argue him. with the lady. It it's will okay. be very rude for proceed, me. Proceed, proceed. Okay. And, and so if Veronica wants to take the whole time, I'll let her do that. Very, very happily. Actually, I'll leave no, her applaud. The time is yours. <laughs> the time is yours. <laughs> so, so the thing is this. Yeah. We have had elections in this country, um, you know, several election after election. From 2007, we had the very unfortunate events that, that, you know, caused this country to come to the brink. In 2013, it was another, you know, you know uh, whatever happened, we know what happened. In 2017, the highest court actually confirmed that the process was, you know, uh, left a lot to be desired. And so it is not an allegation by ODM to say that IBC has failed in the past. IBC is on record to have failed numerously and variously in the electoral process. What we are saying is, let us have mechanisms within the process of elections that will safeguard the process. We just want safe, uh, safeguards. We are not saying, we are saying, you know, don't, don't bring these uh, electronic devices. Bring them by all means. But let them be used, but let there be a safety net. Because technology is just what it is. It is technology. It is human. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a human you know, thing. It's something that is invented by human hands. It can fail. You know? And that is why they pray even for cars. When you get into a car, they say, you know, it is made by human hands. So when it fails, let there be a mechanism that will enable you to vote, let there be a mechanism that will enable the process to go seamlessly, because elections are not just uh, a product, they are a process. So therefore, we don't want to see on election day, and by the way, I'll tell you, you know, if you ask me again, uh, why uh, my colleagues side do not mind, uh, you know, this, uh, insisting on the electronic process, is because if the process is bungled, because then they know they're losing this election, they don't mind losing badly. They don't mind losing and having grievances. They can go to court and say, why didn't you use the electronic register? The law says you, use, you must use an, an, an electronic register. They have grounds to go to the court of appeal and annul, and annul, annul our well-won victory. Okay. We don't now, want to give them that, and we will not give them that. You know, Let me ask you again before I go to Veronica. So what is the fear in this? What is the fear that what will they do if the manual register is missing. What is the fear? Just explain to me that very briefly. Then I go to Veronica. If the manual register is missing, yeah. you will have a situation where people come, they are putting their biometrics, nothing is happening, mm -hmm. the queues are piling up, mm -hmm. people are getting frustrated, they are trying to put their IDs, the process is slow, the, 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 the kits are dying because they are also powered by batteries. Mm -hmm. You know, something is not happening with the electronic register according to plan. The people who are queuing are getting frustrated. They are raising their hands. They are saying, what is going on? They don't have time. They don't have all day to sit and wait for people to change batteries and for people to say, to call Nairobi and say the kids are not working. We just want a system where, you know, and these people will go back home. They will not vote. And uh, 
when you are losing an election, you don't want people to vote. When you are winning, you want people to vote. Oh, so that is the fear that yes. you you want everyone to, to vote. vote. Yes, that's you what know, Veronica. You know, let me say this yes. about uh, my colleague saying that uh, we are losing this election. You know, you can repeat a lie to yourself until you believe it. Um, we have watched our opponents uh, cooking opinion polls. Um, doctoring, influencing, making them appear as though they are very close to a presidential candidate mm -hmm. until they have completed to believe that lie that they are actually winning. And they behave with such a boisterous attitude as though they have actually won this election. Courtesy of just knowing that they are supported by the state, they are friends to so and so, and friends to so and so. Unfortunately, this election will be determined by the voter. It will be determined by that Wanjiko in Soko. It will be determined by what we carry for the Kenyans in so Kenya Kwanzaa the coalition. Vote. No, 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 let me finish. <laughs> it will be determined on the ideas that the party or the coalition will bring forth to the Kenyans. And this election, by the way, is about the economics of this nation if I can help you to move to the next level. Because this question of manual vis-a-vis -vis electronic and use of technology is actually before the courts of law. And there is an order which IBC has been served with. It was confirmed by Chebukati. So either way, a decision will be made that you determine which way we go. Mm -hmm. We are not very afraid of even that manual register as long as it contains what is in the Kim's kit. Because we have another mechanism. We have a different mechanism of ensuring there is uh, accountability and verifiability of the number of people who walk into those polling centers. When you say we... We will have, mm -hmm. all of us, all the political parties, okay, because we will have, have a right, yeah. just mm -hmm. as candidates will have, mm -hmm. to have agents in those stations. Yes. Now, the agents can actually count for you. If you have a trustworthy agent, they will tell you only 500 people have walked inside this station. One, 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 so, one, yes. Even for somebody to plan and assume and strategize around the issue of use of uh, voter, the manual register, as the fallback plan for getting more votes than you'd have gotten if we used the Kim's kit, is not going to work. Because counting will be done at the polling center. Today, Chabukati clarified that actually the tallying will be done based on Form 34. Now, Form 34 is the form that is filled at the polling center level, mm -hmm. at the polling station level, not center. Polling station level. That is the first form that is filled by the presiding officer collating the results of what every candidate has won. Okay. And all you need are genuine, faithful agents who are able to say the number of votes that have been counted for Anchori and for Veronica are A and B. And they are accurate okay. in that respect. Uh, okay. The minute that form is even um, photographed by any of the agent and transmitted to any talent center or to the media or to the media through WhatsApp. It's a done deal. Okay. It's a done deal. We won't have to argue. Okay. So what I would want to say is this. Mm -hmm. Instead of people <coughs> concentrating on a register which might not even help them, that manual register, because we will make sure that if that register is not printed, it will be printed on the same number of people, registered voters, who are in a polling, in okay. a polling station. I, I, think, I think we have exhausted this. So the thing is this, when, if I get both of you right, because we've taken 40 minutes to talk yeah. about this, yeah. is you are not against having a manual register as a complementing... That, that's not what I've said. I have only said... Even with the use of that register, mm -hmm. that manual register which has been there, mm -hmm. there are mechanisms through which we are able to check to but ensure. The deputy president said that yes. he doesn't mind even the, uh, availing that register. The point is, is you must ask yourself, yes. why did we go to technology in the first place? Why did the nation no, migrate just, just, towards just take, the technology? Just take me here. Because but he was very explicit on this. Yes. He doesn't mind. And that's our position. That he remains doesn't our mind. position. So long as it corresponds with what's in the system. But I'm saying okay. that is our position still. Okay. 
as long yeah. as the Kimsky <coughs> carries that <coughs> register yeah. and we are able to use it without any technology failure, okay. there is no case for us to use the manual register. And, and what In other it, words, yeah. we are making it easy even for the commission to determine a very accurate result and tell that. Kenyans who is the real winner. As to who will win or not, mm. that is the determination of the Kenyans. Of the Kenyan. And Kenyans know, even the viewers who are viewing us right now, they know who the winner of this election, election. is. The election so is with the Dr. Wak William Samoe Ruto. <laughs> Wakili, your point also is, let the electronic one be there, but let this register be. You know, Ken, uh, so that we conclude this matter. Yes. The, the position is now actually final. Because there is even a court order that the printed register must be used. And so the Kenya Kwanzaa side and IBC who are pushing for the exclusion of the, of the printed register an interim order. Have, have lost the on that, is not fully on this particular it's debate, on this particular debate, mm -hmm. Ken, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa and IBC are one down. In, in golfing terms, we say one down. Uh, and it's not the first thing that they will be losing in the next few months. And, and so that issue really, we don't even have to belabor it. It will be used, and I can assure you, Ken, as, 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 uh, as sure as is night, and tomorrow there will be day, the printed register will be in your polling station we when you go to vote. Okay. Yes. And, and it's not like we are going to collapse if we find the printed register. We've always <laughs> had the printed registers let me in the polling centers. Yeah, I'm only saying, yeah. if the printed register is exactly what What's is in, in the, the case, it will be. be. And nobody be. is abusing it that printed register. Yes. It's not a big deal, but IBC would have to develop the protocols on which this printed register would It'll have be to be used, used. Okay. to avoid the abuse of that printed register by ghost voters or people voting multiple times okay both of just you have, by courtesy both of, you have of use of the both of you have register. good concerns and i think the ibc will address it but at least tonight with you, you the two of you have opened our minds as to what's happening and why there are different positions uh, because it's very important to understand but the other the other uh, side of this is the transmission of uh, the results there is huge concern. The last time they tried the simulation, you had huge concerns, Wakili. Yes. You mentioned it on the floor yes. about the uh, polling stations that could not. It's about 2,000. But there was a problem immediately. They decided to transmit. What is the latest? What is the IBC telling you about this? Uh, so IBC today actually confessed uh, that the process that they ran on the 9th was uh, shambolic. They say that uh, they have reassigned whoever was, was doing it to make adjustments to the, to the system to improve um, the system. And so this late in the day, this late in the day, uh, we're talking about 40 odd days to election. IBC is still trying to perfect the system. We, we believe they will do it because they have no choice. Uh, but you will remember, Ken, that when I stood at Bomas of Kenya, and raised concerns about what was happening in that simulation exercise. And my sister Veronica was there. Mm -hmm. And she also raised concerns. I also raised it. Everybody was concerned. Mm -hmm. Actually, on that day, we were, we were unanimous mm -hmm. that the system was a failure. Mm -hmm. But what did ABC do? When I was still on the floor, they turned off my mic. And that is a consistent, it has become a consistent thread in the conduct of this commission. Today, when we, when we appeared at Windsor, IBC wanted to kick out the media from the plenary and it took the intervention of our deputy presidential candidate Martha Karua her excellency Martha Karua to insist that the media has to stay in. so why would a commission that is running such an important exercise want to gag the media Ken why would the commission want to black out the entire nation on such an important exercise like what was happening today at Windsor we had and, and unfortunately my sister Veronica who was also there actually supported the commission that the media should be kept out i am uh, no, i do, don't misquote me i was on record <laughs> and she was here she's here she kept i actually it. said it it's on on record mm -hmm. i said they don't mind the media staying in the room because there's nothing we are discussing that is off the cuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was very clear actually. Okay. Can Don't you, misquote. You, you, you can. I, I'm sure I, I, this I'll, is a I'll problem you had. That's you that why clip. your mic was switched I'll send, off. I'll send, you that clip. I'll send you that clip. I'll send you that clip. Okay. I'll send you that's that clip. why your mic was most probably switched <laughs> off by I, 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 Are you done? So you that must retain to the content. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because why? Why was why why was IBC gagging the media today? 
you know, attempting to guard the media. I, I think what you should do yeah. is you invite IBC in the next show so that when, that when they have queries that they need to answer themselves, then they can respond to themselves. And I do somehow agree with my colleague that uh, we had serious concerns when the simulation was done at Bomas mm. because... Uh, the pace at which those resorts were streaming in was not good enough. I mean, in this uh, era of uh, quick technology and high-speed internet, I mean, they could do a little better. And then in terms of uh, user-friendliness of that system, we did question and we said we wanted it to be more user-friendly. Is user -friendly. not the one that we used in 2017? Um, I think it was slightly different. We needed to be more user-friendly. Mm -hmm. when, when a form comes through, we want to see where did the form emanate from? Is it from polling center A? And then we don't want them to leave it in one basket where uh, sorting it out becomes a very big nightmare even for the IT people. Okay. We wanted to come marked as... Uh, if it is nation center here, where the polling center is, let it be marked as such, and be, we we'll be able to quickly identify and quickly collate the results that are being displayed. Apart, apart from that, any other concern with that in terms of network coverage? Was there clarification? Um, yes, they clarified that uh, the 1,111 polling centers which do not have a 3G, 4G network coverage, they are going to have satellite modem. The phones they call the satellite modems for the ordinary Kenyan mm -hmm. is just a satellite phone. I mean, they'll have modems which can be able to do Definitely the same right, job, mm -hmm. the same job that could be done by the Kim's kids. So okay. we hope that comes through. Okay. And if it does, that means we'll have a 39, proper coverage. 30, 39 days them. to the election. Yes, they say they you have them. I, I would believe they have them. If they don't have them, they should tell Kenyans we don't have them so that we are able to address that. the concerns and raise issues mm -hmm. and not have surprises on that day. Well, that was satisfactory, uh, Wakili. Well, um, one thing I can tell you, uh, Ken, and I want to, you know, all your viewers and the Kenyan public, this election 2022 will be free, fair, and credible uh, by... You know, we will ensure that these elections, we will do everything in our we, power. We. Yes, we, we, we will ensure that we put IBC mm -hmm. on the spot. On we the is issues. Azimio. Yes, as Azimio. Okay. We will ensure that I, um, uh, IBC follows and adheres to the law, to the letter, to deliver to the Kenyan people a free, fair, and credible election. Mm -hmm. The Kenyan people deserve nothing less. This country... We have held this country hostage too long on bungled elections, on unnecessary tensions, on unfair uh, results, on bogus uh, results. We do not want, we want that to be the, a thing of the past in this country. The only election that was free and fair in this country to the satisfaction of, one, of a majority of Kenyans were the elections of 2002. Those elections were manual. We are not saying that we need to have purely manual elections, but it doesn't mean that manual elections are necessarily bad. We are saying, let us have technology. Let us have a system that ensures that everything goes according to plan. But let me say something else about agents. Because my sister talked about agents, mm -hmm. and I'm chief agent for um, our presidential and deputy presidential candidate. You see the role of agents, and I can speak about this with authority, because I'm the only agent in this room. And I'm, on, and I'm, the I'm, only a, I'm a deputy chief a deputy agent, deputy. but I'm not shouting. <laughs> yeah, she's deputy. No, she's let, let, me, let me tell you, let me tell you, Ken. Eh? Yes. The role of agents, and why do we need agents? We need agents because basically it is a way to say that if we do not have agents, the elections cannot be secure. Agents are a mechanism to secure the election. Mm -hmm. All right? So the, our own laws and our own system and practice acknowledges that without agents you cannot secure the election and the role of agents begin way before the election it is a, a monitor uh, it is a, a role to monitor it is a role you have a role to highlight anything that is going wrong you have a role even just sometimes to engage the IBC to ensure everything goes according to plan you see you have some money in the bank I'm sure Ken uh, even if it's not a lot a lot of it but you have some money in the bank. But you don't have an agent to take care of your money. Why? Because you can trust the bank clerk. You cannot trust the, the IBC clerk. That's why the law is telling you, you must have your own person to protect your vote. And if that is the case, all right, 
And by the way, you know, the Kenyan vote is the most valuable currency in the world. It is more valuable than the dollar. It is the, it is the one thing that, is, than, than, it has than the dollar. more security features than any currency in the world. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it, it is highly under okay. threat. Mis mistrust. Under threat. Now, and, it has been, and it has been attacked yes. so many times. Yes. I, I, I hear the pronouncement by my colleague of how they want to tight fix the IBC to ensure that the results are credible, transparent, fair. Where that means to them that if they don't win, if they lose, they won't accept, they'll be bankrupt. Mm -hmm. What we need to hear from my colleague as a chief agent of uh, Azimio is whether they will accept those results. Be they, whether they win or they lose. Supposing you lose, will you accept the same results? Mm -hmm. If the whole process is transparent, verifiable, mm -hmm. and fair, mm -hmm. that is the undertaking and that is what we want to hear their presidential candidate addressing himself to mm -hmm. has he bound himself to a win or a loss whichever the result will be has he bound himself our presidential candidate has come out very clear on that issue that if he wins of course he wins and he will win by the way that's what we are trusting god for he has also bound himself if he loses and the system is transparent will accept the results. Has their presidential candidate bound themselves? Can he face the Kenyans on this camera and tell Kenyans we are equally bound to accept results whether we win or we lose this election? Or is it a must, must win? Is it the chest thumping we have experienced before with the presidential candidates? Never accepting results, talking about bungled results every time they don't come out in their favor. Yet, when they come out in their favor and their MPs become members of parliament in different places, that one they accept. The senators they accept. The governors they accept. But when it mm -hmm. comes to the presidential, mm -hmm. they say that one was bungled. Yeah, that one has been okay. stolen. Can I answer that, that one question, we don't yeah. accept. Can I answer? It's a simple As a chief question. agent, yes. yes I, it's, yes. A, it's a simple question. What's your instruction? Yes. What's your mandate? I have clear instructions, mm -hmm. uh, Ken, uh, and my sister Veronica. I have clear instructions. We are watching you. I have clear instructions. We have 40 days. No, wait. We are watching How you. We'll be back to you. Allow me to answer the question. I'm just reminding you. I have clear instructions mm. to answer that question without, without any equivocation. We are saying that we, are, we want IBC to follow certain laid down procedures. We are not the ones who have laid down those procedures. If IBC it's does everything according to the law mm -hmm. and our candidate loses, we will accept. We will greet them and tell okay. them it is your turn to lead. But that will not happen because they will not, they can, these guys have no path to victory other than using some funny mechanisms like electronic things that uh, only they we know. Can, we can't go back there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have about a minute to the clock. But You've I'd gotten like your to, answer though. I'd like to play <laughs> the Thank video you. of the week. When we come back, I'll give Veronica a chance to invite us tomorrow for the manifesto, yes. what we're looking forward to. True, true, so true. Let, let's take a look at the video of the week. I've always said when somebody says that they have done something and they have to spend one hour explaining what they have done, then they have done nothing. <laughs> when you have done something, you shut up. The things that you have done speak for themselves. Well, uh, PLO Lumumba summarizes a lot of things, and I've just seen some breaking news there, but I'll give you an opportunity before we close. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is your big day. Yes. Uh, my director will give me around two minutes yes. to invite us and tell us the highlights of the manifesto and why Kenya should look forward to what you're doing tomorrow. As Amir did it almost three weeks ago. Uh, let me say this. Tomorrow is a special day for Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. Um, our presidential candidate, together with his running mate, will be unveiling uh, the manifesto that will take Kenya to the next level. It's going to talk about all those issues that have been discussed from different counties, from the forums, uh, with the women, with the youths, with the PWDs, and with the different uh, groupings, including teachers, including the education sector and the health sector. All those packaged together and everything that has to do with agriculture and economy, the bottom-up economic model, 
it's coming to be unveiled tomorrow. But because we don't want to take the wind out of the sail, the detail of the manifesto will be coming tomorrow. So I want to ask all the Kenyans to tune in. It will be a very uh, beautiful function, a very uh, useful and very rich function that will be done <coughs> in the session where we are set to, um, to cast it. So we invite you to log in tomorrow. If you are not one of the delegates who is attending the physical event, log in tomorrow and get to know where Kenya is going next. And we are moving together with Dr. William Samway Ruto, Asante Sana. And of course, KTN will cover this. Six times here. We'll Thank definitely you. Thank cover you so much. I, I have just and seen you. And you are welcome. Here. Karibu. We've we'll got to be there. I'm, I'm just hoping I'll see you there. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> no, I was not cutting you off. I was just saying we'll cover it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be covering that yeah. for you from 6 30 pm. Yeah. I've just seen what Jacqueline indicating his is from 4 30 at the yes. KICC. We'll no, no, no. We'll, we'll did do did that. you see who is funding Wajakoya? You have no idea no, who no, just funded Wajakoya. I thought it was being sort funded of, by sort the, the wind. Of to pull the carpet, uh -huh. like to I take away, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. And, okay. and if Wajakoya <laughs> wants to launch his tomorrow, that is within his right, he can do that. Yeah. But we know where Kenyans, what mm -hmm. Kenyans will be watching tomorrow. Okay. So, so Ken, a manifesto is basically uh, an action plan, and it is also a promise. It is your promise to the Kenyan people that when you take the reins of power, then these are the, the projects and these are your vi this is your vision and this is how you want to... So this big uh, word manifesto really has to be deconstructed. So it is basically your promises to the Kenyan people and the plan on how to deliver those promises. Mm -hmm. And so therefore the most important thing is the believability and the credibility of the promiser. And so therefore we need to interrogate when someone comes and says these are the things we want to deliver and i will not take any win from the sales mm. uh, it would be unfair for me to do that but uh, then because track records are important then we need to ask them have you delivered on these other promises that you made in the past where are the nine stadiums that you said are all over the country where are the the laptops that you promised our children you know where are all these other things that you promised us if you did not deliver on those how will you deliver on this I think I would say this. I, I think I deserve half yeah, a minute yes, to respond to that yeah, yeah. and say that uh, some of those promises mm -hmm. uh, with the handshake and the chief advisor of uh, the president being the party leader of my colleague, <laughs> he can, the party leader can advise my colleague where those, some of those promises are during the second term. And then, more importantly, mm -hmm. To just say that what we remember about their manifesto was the Mtuba. My takeaway from that manifesto was the story about the Mtuba and the dead people, the clothes that come from the okay. dead people. Okay. That's the much I remember about their manifesto. Let's see. But let's have another manifesto tomorrow. Uh -huh. We'll have the Kenya Kwanza, we'll have Wajakoyas, then we have a comparative I analysis. I understand a public, the holiday, a public holiday has been declared. It's called the Kenya Wongo Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a public holiday, by the way. Thank you that so much. That is speech from my <laughs> Thank you so much, Veronica Maina, yes. UDS Secretary General, for coming tonight. Also, and uh, Deputy uh, Chief Agent for Dr. William Samaya Ruto, right? Yes. As you mentioned, thank you so much for coming tonight and sharing your perspective. Wish you all the best tomorrow. Thank the you. most important, KTN will have to tell you what that manifesto has. And thank you, Setabao, mm -hmm. like I'm sorry, for coming tonight. Always a pleasure coming. Thanks. And uh, on behalf of the whole crew, my name is Ken Mijungu and Meresha Witi Ali on Sign Language. Have a good night. We do this again, same place, same time next week with more great guests. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>